Hey, what's up nerds? I'm going to show you how to loop some video and image files in your favorite streaming software and have it have a bit of delay. What I'm going to be using is available from nerdr.com. It's called the Media Looper. It's free and it's something you can use to remind your viewers to follow your social media, subscribe on Twitch Prime, or even let them know you just dropped some new merch. This requires no plugins, no software, and no hardware is going to be needed. So just get your favorite streaming software in a browser source, and that's all it's going to take. If you like free downloads like this, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and check out our overlays over at nerderdie.com. Okay, so after you downloaded the Media Looper, you'll want to just unzip it. Inside, you'll find a few folders. And the first one we want to look at is the Getting Started folder, which will just have links to this video and some README instructions. The Media folder is where we'll be placing all the media that we want looped. And the Loops folder is where our HTML files that we'll add via the browser source are going to be saved. Just a little bonus we added was the PSD template and default images and videos as well. And unless you're brave, I just wouldn't check out that code folder. So let's go ahead and move on to that media folder. Inside, you'll find four preset files. With this, you can open these PNGs and check them out. And since they're PNGs, they're not going to animate. But if you're interested, you can grab the full animated pack on our website, which is called the Ultimate Social Media Pack, and that's linked below. But what's important here is the file names. These need to be named a number, and this will represent the order that the media will play. So I'm going to recommend to go ahead and check View, File Name Extensions, and then we can make sure that our naming is done properly. We just want to use a number, and that's it. So right now, in this case, it's going to play the Twitch tag, then the Twitter tag, followed by the YouTube tag, and then the Nerd or Die pop-up. Now, if I wanted to add a file after the Nerd or Die pop-up, I'd need to add one into this folder and name it five or a number after that up to 15. And we'll talk about that in a second. If I wanted to remove the Twitter pop-up, I can just delete it. The numbers don't have to be in sequential order for this to work, as in you can go one, two, five, eight, and it'll play these files just in that order with the lowest one first. The file types supported here are WebM, MP4, PNGs, GIFs, JPEGs, and SVG. Currently, we support up to 15 different files, but let us know in the comments if you'd like to see any changes to this. Basically, as long as you have these named properly, like the examples, you'll be good to go. It's important to know, though, that you shouldn't have two different file types with the same number. So this would be 1.png and 1.webm. This will have the looper kind of confused and it'll only play one of the type of file that you entered. So if you're able to count up to 15 without doubling up, you should be good to go here. Once you've added in your own files or edited the ones we provided, then we just need to add this into OBS Studio or any other streaming software that supports a browser source. Oh, and I did forget to mention that it is pretty easy to just drag in an HTML file directly into the OBS preview window, but sometimes this doesn't work for everyone. But if it does for you, it makes things a lot easier. Before we move on too much, I just want to give an update about an actual update that we made to this after we released it and beta tested it in our Discord channel. So in the loops folder, you'll see a delay between each and then a play all then delay. This represents the two different types of loops that you can use in the media looper. The delay between each means that you'll have a delay between each media file that you're playing and then play all and then delay will have the whole entire playlist play and then have the delay after and then it will loop again. So choose which one works best for you and pick the file in that to add into your streaming software. Lastly, we added in an underscore options folder and this will allow you to change the image duration which is the duration that your images will show up while in the loop. So by default, it's at five seconds. If you open up this folder and then open up the text file inside of it, you can just set a number of seconds that you want them to be on screen for. If you want it to be 10, change it to 10. If you want it to be one, change it to one and save the file. And that's all you have to do. Now let's get back into adding this into OBS. In OBS, I'll add a new browser source, check that I'm using a local HTML file, and then navigate to the loops folder. In here, you'll find a bunch of HTML files, which represents the amount of time that the media looper takes before it replays. So for our example, I'm going to pick the five second delay.html 
and then just hit OK. We'll see that it starts playing immediately. And after five seconds of it playing, we should see it just start right over and go on forever until the stream ends or OBS just dies. We've added a pretty solid amount of presets, so just choose what works best for you. Oh, and by the way, this actually adapts to the width and height that you set inside of your browser source. So if you just adjust it, it will automatically adapt and be perfectly fit every time. I do want to quickly mention, though, that any video files added as media will be played for their full duration and any images will be shown for just five seconds. So keep that in mind. We think that most people would use this for videos, but if you do want to show off a couple of images, you can go ahead and do that as well. Also, you can change up your media files with your streaming software open, but you'll need to refresh the browser sources cache for the changes to take place. And with that, that's really it. We wanted to keep this as simple as possible. So if you feel we left something out, let us know in the comments below. And I know I mentioned this before, but make sure to subscribe with notifications on or drop a like because we have some really awesome overlays, alerts and creator related designs coming out very, very soon. And we'd love to have you check them out. So thanks for watching. See you.